Before the video starts, I will not lie to you. I don't know how to say this title. All I know how to say is robot, but even then, it's in English. Because <laughs> my teacher, who I showed this movie to, knows how to say the title. Then I said the title, and then right after class, I forgot how to say it. Because this is the title of the movie, and because it has so many fucking vowels, my dyslexia refuses to process it. Process it. And it's called, and even though he's an android, it's called Robot because the android title is is already taken by like the very first one. So yeah, that, that's just like a heads up because I was learning the same thing. So with that weird thing said and done, enjoy the rest of the video. Evil king is comes away now. Really freakishly good, even th even though it came out like, believe it or not, almost ten years ago in like 2014. So, yeah, and like, I'm saying there's a watch order for this movie. I'm saying it personally because I choose to believe it. Because I'm saying while the main girl, I also don't know how to say her name, is at school. Judo is with Gaim doing um, this stuff. And then after he tells Kota, he has to go protect someone, and then he walks off. Playing guitar, which is cool and intimidating to me for some weird reason. And in anime fashion, he gets there at night when they're about to die, and I'm saying he jumped to the top of their apartment complex to come save them and kick ass. Literally. Because the moment you see Jiro, he starts kicking ass. Kind of fast. Which is cool. <laughs> and yes, the movie is almost 10 years old, but I refuse. Like, this is the one time I literally will refuse to spoil anything because I highly recommend watching this. Yes, I sound like a broken record every time I say this, but I highly recommend watching this movie. Like, even if you're not a fan of the franchise, I, I just rec I recommend watching this one movie because I love it. And um, seeing how it's almost been 10 years seeing in like what two to three years it'll be its 10 year anniversary i wouldn't be surprised if they made a sequel to it because i'm not gonna spoil it so i'm gonna shut up <laughs> and the movie actually has a good story it's not just all fighting like for example because juro was made by their father to protect them i also love how even though he's an android or robot or whatever you want to call him he does he has emotions but at the same time, he's a smart ass. Because she asked the who he, who is he, and he just straight up says smartphone. They tracked you from your smartphone. And then he and then she asked again, but then he but this time he actually answers by saying his name. And then I think he says he's a machine. Yes, he does. And th this scene threw me off because I'm used to like robots being like half ass like with zero emotion and empathy and whatnot. But Jiro actually has some because he does this. It's like he's even willing to show how to turn him off. And this also threw me off because instead of like making the kid scared of him, he's making the he's making the kid feel better by playing with him on the beach. In like this like terrifying moment in his life. But at the same time, he learns what it's like to have a heart and like around the end of the movie. Like, I guess you could say this is a spoiler, but still, at the same time, at the end of the movie, he learns what it's like to have a heart and what it's like to sacrifice everything. That was probably a bigger spoiler. I don't care. I'm deep in this right now. So yeah, I like highly recommend this movie because it's not like every, it's not like, um, every robot uh, movie out there. It's like, there's only like one stereotype with like robot movies where like he learns how to get a heart and whatnot and then he sacrifices. Mm -hmm. But yeah, even then, it's like completely opposite to like every, like, like about 90% of it is like completely opposite to every robot movie or TV show I've ever seen. Where it's like, it's not like he has zero emotions and then he learns what emotions are then gains them. He's like, he has emotions slash programming in him to like, feel empathy and whatnot i guess but still i really recommend watching this movie because god it was it's good i mean it's like really good action-packed story but at the same time depressing as fuck 
I was I just realized while editing I forgot to show him henshing, so here. Also, in the movie and in the Gaim episode, in my opinion, I thought it was implied that when he says switch on, the nano crystals throughout his body turns off his 3D projection. He literally says that. But no, I feel like they made like switch on to make to add dramatic effect. But I feel like since he's an android in his head, he can do like the system thing where it like he input switch on so like the nanites turn off i guess or whatever not nanites whatever it's called i, I don't know i'm not that smart and i guess you could say it's the cliff like like i said earlier the movie is almost 10 years old and i guess you can say this is a spoiler but the movie is left off on a cliffhanger somewhat and i wouldn't be surprised um that um like around its 10 year anniversary in a few years is when they make like the actual sequel to this movie because um they, like japan like does that a lot and i think seeing how i think this is owned by toei so and like toei also likes doing that so i wouldn't be surprised on the 10, 10 year anniversary they make a, a sequel to this because uh, i'm like telling myself that because like i'm hoping for a sequel but if they don't make a sequel i'm gonna be depressed <laughs> so yeah well, with that said and done i hope you enjoyed the video uh, as always i'll leave a link to the movie in my description because i highly recommend watching this it's like you don't have to watch episode 30 of gaim i just recommend it so yeah bye have a nice day and i hope you watch the movie and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did bye this world is broken.